Well, we talked the other day about uh, John Dingleberry, who goes by the name of Dingle, uh, who is uh, in trouble. And this guy has been a menace for decades. As a matter of fact, he took the seat that his father had. He's been in Congress since forever. And he's running against a very good opponent who actually has a shot at defeating him, and that would be huge. And his opponent's name is Dr. Rob Steele, who I have with us right now. How are you, sir? Mark, I am fantastic. It's such a pleasure to talk with you. I've got a 14-year-old daughter who listens to you every night. Well, thank you. Well, she's got to be proud of you. You're, you're running uh, almost neck and neck with him. What's the situation there? Well, it's going fantastically well, and uh, we're very excited about everything that's going on. We've got great volunteers, great support. You know, we just got to <clears throat> put together all the finances we need to make it happen. We've got a great national race here. I mean, my view of this race is is that, you know, if there are people that are unhappy with career politicians, I- I'm running against the longest-serving guy in the history of <laughs> Congress. Fifty-five years took over for his dad. 78 years total, and uh, that's not what our country was designed for. So if you've got listeners who who are against career politicians, out of the 435 races, this is it. And, uh, of course, uh, I'm an interventional cardiologist, and if you've got people who are thinking uh, they don't like this health care bill, you know, he claims to have written it. He's introduced to health care first day of every session since 1955 and his dad since 1946. So out of the 435 races, this is number one if your listeners don't like this health care bill. So, yeah, we're fired up. Things are going great. He's an extremely arrogant, power-hungry man, isn't he? I mean, he has spent decade after decade browbeating people, pushing them around, trying to control their lives. You're exactly right. This is like a, uh, uh, one family member handing it to the other. And by the way, uh, Dr. Steele's website is Rob Steele, that's S-T-E-E-L-E, for Congress.com. Rob Steele for Congress.com. He has a real shot at beating Dingle, but he needs some money. Now, you're a cardiologist, huh? Yeah, Mark, and I know that's a subject that's dear to your own heart. And by the way, happy birthday, I understand. Fantastic well, on that account. Well, where, did my producer tell you that? Is that what's going on? Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry. I don't know if I wasn't supposed to mention that. My son actually just texted me and told no, me that's he's all a right. huge fan as well. well I, I'm just messing with you. No, that's okay. I, I wasn't going to bring it up to the end of the show so callers don't all wish me a happy birthday. Uh, yeah, let me, right. let well, me... uh, you know, my son... I uh, just finished a three-month internship with Ed Fulner at the Heritage Foundation. Really? That's kind of where I come from on this whole thing. And I uh, want to thank you for your awesome Churchill address with the Hillsdale Foundation and Larry Arn. What a great situation they have going there. And uh, I was with uh, Dr. Arn at a Heritage event just a couple of nights ago. Wonderful, wonderful people and, uh, you know, two great institutions. And uh, your work with both of them is fantastic. And it's kind of the pillar of what I look at is what's supposed to be happening in the country. You know, freedom, opportunity, press, prosperity, free enterprise, limited government, strong national Well, defense, let me just uh, tell you, know, you one. Simple. Let me tell the folks one thing. And you're a cardiologist. You've spent years and years and years uh, studying, practicing what you do. And you will be able to help us. Uh, undo this government-run uh, Soviet-style Obamacare from the inside. You'll know how a lot of this works. You'll know how a lot of this doesn't work. So you can be part of the uh, of the of the think tank operation within the House of Representatives if we get you there, right? Absolutely. It's uh, something I'm real familiar with. Obviously, I've I uh, graduated from med school in 1981 at 23 years old and have been working full-time as a doctor ever since that time. And, uh, you know, I understand a lot about patient care, and that's what I do every day. And this current health care bill is a disaster for patients. It's a, de- a disaster for uh, the budget, and it's a disaster for civil liberty and, and uh, free, you know, freedom, individual uh, freedom. I'm talking to Dr. Rob Steele. He's running against John Dingle. Uh, it's Rob Steele with a knee on the end, Rob Steele for Congress.com. Uh, you really ought to take a look at his website, and if you want to do something, do it now because the election's almost on us. You know, Doctor, you could have sat pretty. You could have sat back with your practice uh, and hoped for the best, uh, but it's obvious that you and your family are, are uh, more than that, that you want to get involved and you want to help save this country, right? Well, absolutely. It's it's an interesting story. And by the way, for your listeners on the uh, website, I've got a second website, ditchdingle.com, which is the direct donation website. That's ditchdingle.com. But why I'm running, you know, it, it's it's the classic American story. You know, my my uh, father and grandfather both served in World War One and World War Two. And I'll tell you what, I just knew that I couldn't get to be 80 years old 
look back and say that I didn't stand up and do something to protect the opportunity that the greatest generation gave me. When I'm in the office, in fact, saw a couple World War II vets today, and when I talk to these guys about what they did at 18 to 20 years old, the sacrifices they made and everything they did to leave their home and family and volunteer and go overseas and see and participate in what they did, to think that we are letting what they delivered to you and I, the opportunities and freedom and prosperity, and that uh, we could let that slip away, I just knew that in my heart I, I would feel like shooting myself at 80 if I had to look at myself in the mirror and say I was sitting down when the chance came. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, th- this is very exciting because if, if election night uh, you should defeat Dingle, that would be a huge blow to the Democrat power structure in the House. And um, since we have the opportunity to do that, I would strongly encourage my audience to take a look at your website, Ditch Dingle. By the way, you got to be careful with how you uh, mix all these words together. Ditch Dingle, Ditch Dingleberry, Ditch... You, know, you, you, you get my drift? Got to be a little I will careful. Try to uh, be very careful on that, Mark. Uh, you're yes. the wordsmith, and uh, <laughs> I will I will bow to you on anything that has to do with the English language. That definitely wasn't one of my strengths. Well, Dingleberry isn't exactly in the uh, encyclopedia, although I haven't looked it up. But this guy has been one uh, for decades and decades. So it, you're you're a solid conservative. I'm very excited about this race. You have a real shot at it. We took a look at it last week. And so Dr. Rob Steele at Rob Steele with an E on the end for Congress.com or Ditch Dingle, what is it, dot .com? Yep. Yep, that's Take a the look at it, folks. website. All right. And uh, we wish you all the best. God bless you, my friend. Go get them. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, great work. Keep it up. Liberty and tyranny, fantastic. Yeah, hard, hard to top. I mean, it's the manifesto if people want to start at the beginning and think. Well, thank you, man. And God bless. Good luck to you and your family. Yeah, yeah thank you. All right. By the way, you know what's funny? I Just so you know a little bit of the background here. He's on call right now. So he could have easily gotten a beep and had to run off to the hospital. That's the difference between guys like Rob Steele, who's running for Congress, and guys like John Dingle, who's been uh, basically handed this seat since he was 30 years old or younger. Election night, there's a lot of possibilities, folks, and we can make these things happen. There's a lot of possibilities. We ought to shake them up everywhere we can, every district we can, every state where we can. And Dr. Rob Steele is solid. You heard him. We are going to need experts. I mean, folks who actually practice medicine, who work in hospitals, nurses. We're going to need these folks elected to the House and to the Senate but I'm focused on the House right now, to help us unravel this Obamacare. And Dr. Robert Steele would be one of them. Rob Steele, with an E on the end, for Congress.com. You should take a look at it. 